Welcome tech for all channel. My name is Michael and I'm in a hurry to share with you something, but you've got to be focused. Okay, so this video is not recorded on the micro SD card inside the camera. Yeah, it's it's captured wirelessly. It's a bit more complicated setup. Like I have the camera, then HDMI connection to a wireless HDMI transmitter, which is sending full HD resolution image to the HDMI receiver. From there, there's a capture card, some post-processing, color grading. Now you're watching this and yes, right now we're testing a new wireless HDMI transmitter kit called the Mars 300. Let's go and check the details. This review is going to be a little different to the other reviews of Mars 300 you've probably been watching or you're about to watch because over here I'd like to expose some of the components in depth and that would include the range and the latency whereas I'm really curious to find out whether there is difference in the latency at the start of the range or close to the end of the range where the signal is about to drop. Also uh, one more disclaimer I did not buy this item myself it was uh, sent to me by Holy Land who asked me to review uh, the product and also to give my feedback so I've been testing this for a while, actually it comes very handy in some situations and I'll, I'll show you some examples uh, a little bit later. Polyland as a company are known for their high-end devices for HDMI transmission and they're mostly releasing professional equipment which is usually way more expensive. The Mass 300 is their first consumer-oriented product it costs, you know, around $500, which from the reputable brands is among the most affordable prices of product of that kind. Keep in mind that wireless transmission of quality HDMI signal between devices is quite a tough thing to achieve and especially going back and forth to HDMI connectivity and combined with the few additional ports and the extra features which are offered by the Mars 300, I think the product is very interesting. I know that usually on my channel I try to review things which are more budget oriented, but in fact if we compare the Mars 300 with devices of similar kind of use, it actually is affordable. Uh, in a matter of fact, could be a very good addition to each filmmaker's backpack. Let's now gradually dive into this technology and let's take a look at the package. It arrives in a relatively small box. Inside there are two main units, a receiver and a transmitter, and some accessories. It is important to underline there is only one power adapter and you're expected to either find a second one or to purchase batteries. It supports NPF batteries by Sony, so if you have such, you can use them. I'm no longer a Sony user, so I decided to take advantage of some of my drone's batteries, adding a common coaxial connector, and that has been quite good, super budget solution which works fine. The input range can be between 5 and 16 volts, so 3 or 4 cell lithium batteries are just fine. While you have to sort out power sources by yourself, Holy Land are generous enough to give you a spare antenna, which is pretty nice. And it is well visible that these antennas are not a gimmick. For convenience, both units have a tripod mount adapter and attaching on top of a device you can operate quite easily. For convenience, to each of the units you can mount a tripod mount adapter and attaching on top of the device you operate with is quite easy. There's an on and off switch, LED showing connectivity status and micro USB port for firmware upgrades. I didn't really test if that one would also charge a battery. Operation is most of the time quite simple and is down to powering up and giving the device some 30 seconds to do the pairing right and establish decent connectivity. Technical specifications point to full HD resolution with up to 60 Hz, transmission over 5 GHz band at about 17 dB and up to 6 watts power consumption. The receiver has two HDMI output ports, making it convenient to connect two monitors simultaneously. Latency should be no more than 50 milliseconds. Keep in mind that in reality this may feel as a little more, because most devices, like video cameras, add extra delay to the image, but you certainly won't get a lag for more than a second. Let's go for the first test, and over here we're gonna compare the quality of the image between wirelessly transmitted video and between captured on the SD card. So carefully, please look at the details, look at the color, look at the lighting. I'm not changing any settings. And here am I back again, this time recorded through the camera on the micro SD card. So 
you were able to do a comparison between the quality, the video quality, as it is captured from the HDMI transmission and as it is captured from the camera straight to the micro SD card. Of course, it is normal the camera quality to be the transmission, but I think the results are pretty close. Switching the scenery a little bit, actually changing the camera. Right now I'm recording this with the GoPro Hero 7 Black. And I'm actually going to start waving up and down my hands so that you can see what kind of latency we're counting on. And here's the thing, we're not limited to a device uh, to be used with the Mass 300. Everything that can give us HDMI output qualifies for being compatible with the product, just like the GoPro Hero 7. Okay, it's, it's time to take the Mass 300 outdoors and figure out how it performs in real dice scenario. So, um, open area, no obstacles. I'm gonna figure out uh, whether the range can really be up to 300 feet, which is about 100 meters. And what kind of latency we could count on, because according to the specifications, 300 is the maximum and the latency should be less than half of a second. So, the setup, the setup, smartphone with the digital clock. Okay, that's, that's my phone. Um, a camera, the Panasonic G7, HDMI connection, going to the transmitter. So, from the transmitter, it goes wirelessly to the receiver. The receiver is right here, connected to a capture card, uh, Elgato Camlink, and I have everything connected to my laptop. And as you can see, right now there's a delay of around one second, and this delay is caused by the camera and by the capture device, which is kind of normal. I mean, uh, it's it's the most optimal setup. I managed to find out and yeah so uh, the measurement the distance I'm actually going to measure with the smartwatch so right now it has acquired GPS uh, it's pointing to zero meters and I'm simply standing up starting position just showing you camera with the capture card and uh, the mass 300 as a setup currently we are around 10 meters away and I don't know if that's visible, probably not because of the sunshine. So I'm going, going to go forward. It's a bit windy today. Right, that's about 30 meters. Oops, some obstacles on the road. So I'm going towards the end of this field. By the way, you can see that uh, some people are using that for racing drone testing and racing drone preparation, I guess. Uh, in the meanwhile, we just reached 60 meters away from the station. So we're targeting at 300 feet, which equals 91 meters. And uh, currently the latency is just fine. It's about a second, which used to be the same at the start. Okay, 80 meters. Well, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm already getting tired, my hands are getting tired. I don't know if you can see. Uh, right now the latency is between second, second and a half. Uh, connectivity seems to be fine. Uh, well, we are already at 110 meters, which is close to 400 feet, and uh, this field is over. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's over. It's, it's the woods in front of me. So let's go inside. Some obstacles. It's gonna be even more fun. Same latency. <laughs> wow. I actually was expecting the signal to start to drop at about 60 meters, and to just have some reconnect at about 80 to 90, and it's still very steady. You know, thank God it's. Not that sunny inside the wood, probably you can see a little bit of my screen. <laughs> it's at the moment uh, 0.3 kilometers. 0.33 to be exact and to be accurate. Which is unbelievable. We have, we have so many obstacles, you know, trees between me and the transmitter and the receiver. It's, it's wow. I, I didn't expect that. Okay, that's the first drop. So right now, uh, the watch, the clock on the desktop is counting, but you can see that the clock on the smartphone is not. So it's about, what is it, 0.40 meters. And I think the, the signal is entirely lost. It doesn't really say, say searching, but at some point, probably after a few seconds, it's gonna say searching. Now, now it's counting again. I guess it reconnected and it's still steady, but I guess that is sort of the healthy distance and uh, probably getting more trees in between 
it's a kind of a decisive factor but overall I'm super impressed 0.45 kilometers which multiplied by three makes close to 1400 feet well if you are surprised by the test results so am I pleasantly in the very positive way uh, it's not very often nowadays to see a product which is easily surpassing by far the prescribed maximums by the manufacturer and the mass 300 manages to do that uh, furthermore that means you probably won't ever have any communication issues about the transmission within the specified maximum range and most likely if there are minor obstacles things are going to be fine so that's been all about mass 300 wireless hdmi transmission kit which actually does the job pretty well so tell me what do you think does it justify its price tag in a good way and do you like the features um, because i usually like to give suggestions and to say what i didn't like uh, there are two things i could recommend the first one i really would love to see indication about the transmission status and probably information about the bitrate that would certainly be useful for a lot of people what else maybe you can help me in the comment section right below if you like reading in the description again below the video there is some more information expecting you uh, it's been a great pleasure to have you here my name is michael and i'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video cheers bye